Hello, my name is Mark Wilkes and I'm here as the councillor's portfolio holder for neighbourhoods and climate change and as the council representative on the County Durham Environment Partnership. And I'm here today to welcome you to our second online ceremony of the County Durham Environment Awards. The different circumstances that we've had to deal with again over the past year don't need much explanation, except to say that this has been another very different year to our usual awards. So once more, we haven't had the opportunity to celebrate the winning entries in person, but that doesn't mean that the quality of the applications has been any less impressive than we would have expected at any time over the last 33 years. And what's really apparent from this year's entries is the continuation of a really strong community spirit across County Durham. We've had organisations doing their bit to tackle climate change. We've had individuals working across their local environments, showing us how the people of the county continue to be very much placing a real value on the environment. I'm Justine Matchett, Planning Director at Litchfields. Having been born and bred in Durham, I'm very proud to be supporting the County Durham Environment Awards this year. Despite it being another difficult year, we received almost 50 entries and had a tough job choosing our winners, as all the entries were of a very high quality. Highly commended this year in the greener business category is Lickety Split Creamery in Seam, who set out to reduce their carbon footprint by making their business operation greener. Amongst the initiatives they introduced was switching to more environmentally friendly packaging on the products they sell, including compostable spoons, straws and ice cream serving tubs. To further reduce plastic waste, they offer their wholesale customers a money-back scheme to encourage them to return empty plastic tubs so that they can be sterilised and reused. The winner of the Greener Business category this year is Greenkeeper's Eco Home Store. This business in concert has the aim of helping its customers reduce everyday plastic waste by offering zero plastic packaging and helping customers generally lead more sustainable lives. The shop also has a refill station stocking refills for a wide variety of cleaning, laundry and hair and body care products, as well as many other items. They urge customers to bring containers from home for all products and even offer a discount on food products for those that do. This is a wonderful example of a business which is helping to educate and support local people who want to set out on their own waste-free journey. A highly commended award in the waste management category goes to the Small Electrical Project. The partners involved include Durham County Council, Valpac, AO.com and County Durham Furniture Help Scheme, as well as various community groups and schools. The initiative was to provide small electrical recycling collection points in community buildings across County Durham and promote the recycling of small waste electrical and electronic equipment such as hair dryers, toasters and kettles. The project only officially launched in June 2021, but has already installed 41 collection points across County Durham and collected over three tonnes of small waste equipment. This project is innovative for County Durham as there were no curbside or community collections for this type of waste. The winner of the waste management category this year is Recycle Bike. This is a recycling charity that refurbishes donated bikes. These bicycles are then sold to the public at a reasonable cost as a way of encouraging cycling across Durham. This helps provide exercise for local residents, reduces the number of bikes being sent to landfill, as well as helping to fund other community-based activities related to cycling in the county. I'm Rich Hurst, Durham County Council Education Advisor for Sustainability. I'm delighted to be one of the judges involved in this year's Environment Awards and asked to lead on the Schools and Colleges section. The environmental and climate change related projects that schools and organisations across the county get involved with each year is fantastic and this enables our young people to become more aware of not only the challenges we face environmentally but also and as importantly what power they have to make positive change and become active citizens with local and potentially global benefits. The fact that this work has been undertaken during a pandemic is even more impressive. I'm here to tell you about three really good projects that have all been highly commended by the judges. 
the first North Park Primary School in Spennymoor and their activities through their gardening club, learning about growing vegetables and also wild flowers to benefit pollinators. They also collect rainwater to use on their garden. The second is Silver Tree Primary School and Nursery in Ushermore and their initiative Rocky the Recycling Whale, a recycling arts project learning about and building a large whale made up of single-use plastics. And thirdly, West Rainton School and their environmental champions. Their project called My School, My Planet, aimed at reconnection with the outdoors after lockdown through planting trees, flowers and herbs, working with the national charity Learning Through Landscapes and local charity Oasis. Well done to everyone involved in these highly commended schemes. Hello, my name's Lewis Stokes and I'm Community Manager with County Doom Headquartered The Banks Group. We're a long-term sponsor and supporter of these awards and I've been on the judging panel for nearly 10 years. It's an honour and a privilege to be involved with these fantastic awards. County Doom is such a beautiful part of the world with breathtaking countryside, unrivalled architecture, buildings and history. But what really makes this place special is the people and that's why we are so proud to be involved. I'm here today to discuss both the community partnership and also the Places and Spaces categories. There are two highly commended awards in the Community Partnership Group this year. These are Operation Flanders, which is a fantastic group in Siam, run by Andrew Harrison, comprising Armed Forces veterans and members of the community to provide food deliveries and groceries all throughout the pandemic. The second highly commended group in this category is Trimden Grange Community Association. They run the community centre in Trimden Grange. They've been incredibly active over the last few years, hosting events and running the centre for the community all throughout the pandemic, supplying frozen meals to residents in the Trimdens. I'd like to congratulate both groups in this category. The winner of the community partnership category is the Bishop Auckland People's Museum. This is a community volunteer, not-for-profit group who have established a museum in the town in the former Hippodrome building during the pandemic. The project brought together other organisations such as Bishop Auckland Football Club, Durham Amateur Football Trust, RAF Leeming, the Four Clock Centre, Etherly Incline Group and many individuals who donated items to display, as well as volunteers to run the museum. The group have now incorporated Bishop Auckland Remembrance Garden and have had exhibitions in the Four Clock Centre. I'd like to congratulate that group on winning this category. Another difficult category to judge due to the high number of excellent applications this year is the Places and Spaces Award. Highly commended awards this year have been awarded to Haswell Parish Council and Haswell and Bloom, Bishop Auckland People's Museum and Langley Park Community Association who have developed Langley Park Community Garden and Whitton Park Cemetery who have undertaken works at their local cemetery. We have two category winners this year in the Places and Spaces category. Firstly, the Bookstop. This group in Whitton Park near Bishop Auckland have turned their local bus shelter into a free community lending library for books. The Bookstop has become very popular, not only with villagers, but others passing through the area. And since opening, they've already expanded their range of books and other items. Secondly, Hunwick Community Social and Environment Group. Over the pandemic, Beautifully coloured painted stones were produced by school children and other members of the community and left across the village to cheer up the community. The Hunwick Rocks Wall Project have now embedded these into a stone wall along with a time capsule located next to a children's play area in the village. Through this project, the group have produced a lasting tribute about the Hunwick residents and their community. I'd like to congratulate both category winners today. Hello, my name's Jim Coquill. I'm the director of Durham Wildlife Trust, and I'm also the chair of the County Durham Environment and Climate Change Partnership, and one of the judges on the Environment Awards. I'm very pleased this year to be the judge who is announcing the winners of the volunteer categories. Highly commended awards this year go to the Bishop Auckland People's Museum, the Spennymoor Litter Pickers, Supporting Change in Shot and Colliery, the Seam Wombles, the Trimden Wombles, and the Wombles of Willington. This year's winner of the Volunteer Group of the Year category is the Friends of Riverside Park at Chesley Street. The group have worked and raised funds for a number of projects through the park, 
such as the Sam's Baby Memorial Garden, a maze and sculptures. They have worked on creating a memory garden full of sustainable and sensory planting, which is now maintained by the group and also raise funds for the numerous benches that you'll find in the Riverside Park. I'm now going to announce the Volunteer of the Year in the Over 18 category. Highly commended awards this year have been awarded to Alan Wilkinson, Billy McAloon, Bobby Workman, Michael O'Neill, Robin Old, Tom Drummond and Claire Summers. This year we have two joint winners of the Volunteer of the Year Over 18 category. Firstly, we have Dave Woods. Dave has been chairman for seven years of Ludworth Community Centre. He organises a village fair every year with stalls and support services. He's worked on transforming the village environment over the past seven years with planting and environmental improvements, all assisted through his fundraising effort. Throughout the pandemic, he was volunteering to deliver essentials across the community. Dave works tirelessly to improve the village and has a real passion for volunteering and supporting people in his local community. Our second winner is Claire Todd. Claire is an active in various roles across Chesley Street, including Chesley Street in Bloom, Chester's Best, Secretary of the Friends of Riverside Park, and recently founded the Sestrian Community Volunteers. Throughout the last year, Claire has become one of the organizers of the Isolation Family, which reaches out to people affected by the pandemic. Claire is also a parish councillor, sits on the AAP Local Environment Task Group, and is a community champion. Sits on the Chesley Street Business Association, and amongst other groups, member of the Friends of Chesley Street Railway Station. Our winner of the Volunteer of the Year Under 18s Award this year is Bo Stewart. Bo is part of a litter picking group called Let's Clean Up Bishop Auckland and goes on litter picks with his mum around their local streets and playground. Congratulations to Bo. And that's all our winners this year. And congratulations go to everyone who's won an award and also to everyone who entered. And let's not forget everybody else who volunteers. And please do keep volunteering. It makes County Durham a better place for us all. Can I once more say a heartfelt thank you to everybody who has taken the time to apply with their projects this year and made a real effort to submit an application. Without you, there definitely wouldn't have been any awards. And we also need to say thank you to to all of our judges from across different environmental interests who have given up their time freely to help review and reward our applicants. On behalf of the Environment Partnership, I would like to pass on our congratulations to all of our winners. We really value the care that you in your communities put into the environment around you, making the county a better place, somewhere where we can all be proud to live and to work. Thank you so much.